Hello, everybody. KG here, founder of the Internet Money Crypto Wallet. And today I am bringing you another quick and easy tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to transfer from Rabi Wallet to the Internet Money Wallet on Android, iOS, and Chrome. I will show you how to do this by using your seed phrase, using a private key, or using your hardware wallet, ledger, or trezor. Two notes for this video. One, the methods shown work for all three platforms in the exact same way. Number two, never share your seed phrase or your private key with anyone. If anyone direct messages you, claims to be support, they are trying to scam you and steal your crypto. So remember, never give your seed phrase or private keys out to anyone. Only import them into trusted and reputable applications like the Internet Money Wallet. Let's jump right into it. Got my own keys and my own coins. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me. Here we are on the Internet Money Wallet Chrome extension. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume you already have Internet Money Wallet and Rabi Wallet installed. If you don't have your Internet Money Wallet installed, head to the description of this video where I will leave all the links for the downloads. Or you can head to internetmoney.io and navigate to your app store there. The first method I'm going to show you in this tutorial is importing your seed phrase from Rabi Wallet. Now, when you import your seed phrase, you actually bring over all of the accounts that you generated under that seed phrase on your Rabi wallet. So if you want to just bring over one single account, then you can skip forward to the private key section. Again, this will bring over all the accounts that you have created in your Rabi wallet. In getting started, you have two options creating a new wallet, which will generate a brand new seed phrase or import wallet, which will allow you to bring over your seed phrase from Rabi. First, you have to click to acknowledge that you've read and accept the privacy policy and terms of service Then click import wallet. And you can choose to set up a password or a passcode. I'm going to use a passcode for this tutorial. Then you need to select how many seed phrase words are in your seed phrase. Rabi Wallet generates a 12 word seed phrase, so we are going to click 12. If you have already saved your seed phrase outside of the Rabi Wallet, you have it written down or etched in some kind of material, you can type in the words here one at a time, putting a space between each word. For, for example, type one space, type, one space, and so on till you type in all 12 words. If you don't have your seed phrase saved, open your Rabi wallet, click on seed phrase here at the top, click on this purple box here, scroll down to backup seed phrase. You'll have to type in your password, click confirm, click to show seed phrase. To find your seed phrase, on the Rabi mobile wallet from the home screen, click on this wallet icon here, click on your account, click on the three dots in the top right, click on backup seed phrase, type in your password, confirm, and then the seed phrase shows up behind this window. So you need to close this window Click the show seed phrase, and there is your seed phrase. So you can type it in, just like I said prior, or you can click on copy seed phrase, go back to your internet money wallet, paste it here. Now, if you do happen to get a word wrong, you will be thrown this error that'll tell you exactly which word is incorrect. Correct it, get started. Now we are in our internet money wallet. So how can we verify that we did in fact bring over our Rabi wallet? Let's do a little test. You can see the last four here are D7C9. If I open up my Rabi wallet, 
you can see that the address is D7C9. Well, what if you had multiple accounts? You had account 23456 on Rabi Wallet. All you have to do on Internet Money Wallet is click Add Account, Create New Account, call it whatever you would like, and it'll bring over each of your accounts one by one, and you can continue down the list, and you'll see that all the accounts will line up and match up with all of your accounts on Rabi Wallet. Now I will show you how to import one account or selected accounts from your Rabi Wallet via the private key. You will see that the account that I have as account one is different from the earlier example of the seed phrase. That is because I created a fresh seed phrase in my internet money wallet and I'll bring over selected accounts from Rabi. So going back to the beginning of this video, instead of clicking import wallet, you would have clicked create new wallet, created a new seed phrase, and then you would be here. What you will do is click add account, import account. You can name the account whatever you would like. And here you will have to input your private key. So if you have it saved somewhere or written down, you can copy and paste it from there or type it in here directly. In case you don't have it saved, I will show you how to get it from Rabi. First, open up your Rabi wallet. Click on seed phrase in the top left. Click on the purple box here. Scroll down to backup private key. Type in your password, confirm, and then you click right here, click to show private key. It'll be this long string of numbers and letters that kind of looks like a public address, but it's not. Don't share this with anyone. This will give them full access to your account. To find your private key on the Rabi mobile wallet, click the black and white wallet icon here. Click on your account. Click the three dots in the top right. Click on backup private key. Type in your password, confirm. The private key pops up behind this window. So scroll down, click to show private key on the bottom, and there is your private key. Click on copy and click and paste it in. Click import account. And to verify that it worked, you can test by comparing the accounts. So you see that this account ends in D7C9. We open up our Rabi wallet, D7C9. So you can see that we created a fresh seed phrase and imported an account from Rabi wallet. And you can simply repeat the steps that I just showed you and import as many accounts as you would like. Finally, to connect your hardware wallet to the internet money wallet, this feature is only supported on our Chrome extension at the making of this video, which we have plans to bring it to our Android and iOS apps in the future. Click on add account, connect hardware wallet. Make sure your hardware wallet is connected and unlocked with the Ethereum network selected. And then click on ledger or Trezor, depending on what you have connected. Then you can follow the steps just like you would connecting your ledger or Trezor to any other wallet out there. It really is that quick and that simple. Now, one really cool note is if you're not sure if you're ready to make the full transition from Rabi wallet to internet money wallet, you can still follow the steps in the video and use your internet money wallet and your Rabi wallet simultaneously. Blockchain doesn't know how many wallets you're using and it doesn't care. You can actually use as many wallets as you would like. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching on X, follow us on X, repost the video. Your support and your engagement helps us grow and shows us that we are making the right content for you. We will continue to release tutorials and helpful videos. If you ever need help or assistance, or you would just like to join and engage with the community, head to internetmoney.io, click join community, where you can ask us any question that you have. My name is KG. 
I am the founder of the Internet Money Wallet. And until next time, peace. Got my own keys and my own coins. Gotta protect this money.